Welcome back. Thank you. How'd you do with your last adjustment? Amazing. Okay. Now, a little while back, you had some neck pain. Mm -hmm. And it was from an adjustment that caused some pain, right? Yeah. But that's all resolved. Yeah. Everything's yeah. feeling good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. I'm glad to see you back. Yeah. Go ahead and lie down. Let's check everything and see if you're balanced, perfect, and brand new. I know sometimes we have a leg length discrepancy where one leg appears longer than the other. It's really not. It just appears that way. It's usually the right one that appears longer. So what I'm going to do is lift and bring them together and then bring them apart. And you know what? It is barely different today. The other thing I want to look at is what I usually do is put my hand on this bone, which is your ankle bone on the inside. So I put my thumbs on that and I look right down the middle to see if they're they're the same level. The right one might be a millimeter, maybe. So you really are in great shape today. That's really good. You know, pelvic on leveling puts tension on the spinal cord. Sometimes it's the result of tension up here. Sometimes it causes tension. So what I'm going to do is move this down and over. Is there any tenderness when I press there? Yeah. And this one's not tender, correct? All right. So that's what we're going to adjust to bring this down and to the right and make sure it gets balanced perfectly. So a lot of times the pelvis, when it turns this way, it pushes the hip down. That's why the hip looks longer than the other on that side. On the other hand, this one, if it tilts back, it pulls the hip up, makes this one appear shorter. If that's the case, the tenderness would be right there. Is that tender? Yeah. Good. And it feels the same on both sides. Perfect. So I'll just do one precautionary adjustment here. Then we're going to check the tenderness on the other one. Is this any different than last time? Not tender. Not tender anymore. Beautiful. And then let's recheck the leg length. It was already pretty darn good. Just want to make sure it stayed that way. And it still looks perfect. Very nice. Next, moving up. When we look at your x-rays, there was a rotation of L3 to the left. When L3 rotates left, well, it could be right or left, but hit, clinically I found there's no, there's no medical data or science behind this, but one of the branches of L3 nerve controls the valve between the small and the large intestine. So L3 misalignments tend to cause bowel issues. And so, and before I adjust it, that is tender, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the same bone on this side, not as tender, correct? All right, so this needs to rotate back to center from left to right. That wasn't too rough? No. All right. Two more. One more. All right, so just to make sure, is there a change in tenderness? Okay, good. For the better? For the better. Okay, good. I don't want to make it worse. Um, so that's L3. Now that valve between the small and the large intestine is smiling. Do valves smile? I don't know. Me? <laughs> so this is uh, T12 L1. The, the curve right here was reduced when we looked at your x-ray. So that's why we adjust here. So even though it's not tender or uncomfortable, this helps put it back into alignment just like you get braces on your teeth to make sure they're aligned properly. We want to make sure everything in the spine is aligned in a way that there's less tension or stress on the spinal cord. Okay, so now we're getting into real tender spots, right? Mm -hmm. That is pretty tender? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so the levator scapula muscle attaches here. There's a couple of ribs back here, and the shoulder blade is right there. So what we want to do is slide the shoulder blade out of the way, and we're going to get right on the ribs. What then what I'm going to do is move your lovely hair to the side and tilt your head gently as we push down and back. Here we go. Good. Two more. One more. That wasn't too rough? No. Wonderful. And that's looser. It's still a bit tender, but it's looser. Now when I adjust your neck, that's going to clear up completely. On this one, that's not as bad but just below it, right here. All right. So, you know, these get irritated when you sit in front of a computer for a long time, or if you work with your hands in front of you, doing repetitive things. All right, let your head turn. 
Oh my. Did you hear that one? That was a pop. Beautiful. All right. Any pain when I press up here? No. Good. All right. So let's go sunny side up. A couple of things. So in the mid neck on x-ray, we had seen that there's some narrowing of a couple of discs. Discs will narrow if the curvature is lost in the neck. So notice this will absorb shock really well. If it's straight, it doesn't. So the joints take the load. If we restore the curve, those discs will stop narrowing, start wearing out, stop wearing out. And when they stop, you stop aging. I mean, not your whole body, but at least that disc stops aging. And that's very tender right there. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Is it? It's a little sore, yeah. It's not too much. Okay. Let me find another one. How's the one right here? About the same. Okay. Mildly tender, but not mm -hmm. terrible. How about this one? About the same. Yeah. Same as that one. And what about this one? Less. Less. Now, let's check the front. Is there tenderness? Definitely not there. How about there? A little bit, yeah. And there? A little bit. Okay. This one, anything? No. And that one? A little bit. Okay, and anything here? Yeah. That one's the most yeah. of all of them. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the one we're going to get first. And in fact, on x-ray, we saw this in your computer. It's rotated. So what we're going to do is contact the front of that on the right side. What I'm going to do is pull this right side up and back. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. Done. That wasn't too rough? No. Good. So the test is again I'm gonna press any change in tenderness yes. less than before yes good job no tenderness uh, that's what I like to hear all right so we got the one that was most tender but I do want to do one that improves the curvature of the neck so I want you to pick which one's more here or here mm, it's difficult. the left side left one all right so I'm going to contact right there, and this is going to go up and back, just like we did with the top right side. And back to center. We might have woke up the neighbors with that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now when I press, is there an improvement? Yes. How is this one? Actually, improvement there, too. There, too. Beautiful. And we pull... Just to make sure your head stays attached. It seems like it did. A couple more. That's not painful, is it? No. All right. Well, I'm super proud of you. You're doing so well. You've come a long way. And you know what? I'm excited to see your post x-rays. So we want to see nice changes. So anyways, carefully stand up and let's see how you feel. See if you can tell the difference. Yeah. I was having some pain on the right side, so... God, that's gone. Yay. That's great. Awesome. Good job. Well, thanks for all this. Yeah. We'll see you next time.